So what I'll probably remember most about youth group is probably the games we have every Sunday. No matter how weird or enthusiastic they were, they were always kind of a good wake-me-up thing to do in the morning. I always enjoyed them. I Sometimes I was just very confused more than anything, but it was a, it was a good part of the morning. I always thought it was kind of a good way to start off everything. What I'll remember most is all the weeks that I spent at summer camp because I made so many memories and so many friendships and I'm never going to forget it. My most memorable moments of being in the youth group would probably be every moment of being in the church camps. I've been there, I've been to Windermere every year it was available um, since my sixth grade camp and every year it's been a wonderful chance to become closer with God and to just be inspired again. My favorite memory from the youth group is, happens to be the pumpkin pie eating contest where I won a Starbucks gift card. One positive memory I have in church, <laughs> the youth group is church camp. Someone I believe who's had a good impact on me, at least over the past couple years while I've been going to this church, is mainly Ty Sanchez. He's just been a good guy to know. He's kind of been a, as I like to say, kind of like the cool guy for a lot of the people in youth group. He's just a, he's a fun guy to get to know. And for me, it was always nice to have someone who I felt like I wasn't, I was just kind of being myself and I can talk about church and everything that kind of goes on in life and just, I didn't feel very pressured and it was a great way to just kind of get to know someone and he made me feel very comfortable a lot of the time, so yeah. Someone that's invested in me through the church is Mr. Charlie because for as long as I can remember, me and my brother have been on his prayer list and every week he always wants to see us and talk to us and ask about how we're doing and stuff, so he's always been a blessing in our lives. There have been a lot of people who have helped me with this, um, but I'd like to call out uh, Crystal Sanchez in specific. Um, I started out youth group really, really shy. Like my first year at camp, I was voted to be, uh, what was it, the quietest camper. Um, and so since then I've had her as my um, cabin leader um, and just a friend there, getting to have these fun conversations with her. And so she really helped me to open up and relax in conversation, get to know new people. My personal impact with us a leadership is happens to be Mark Brown because he helped me throughout the rough times and he's still helping me today. Someone who left a positive influence on me was Brian Callaway because he led me to the war. So how I want to keep continuing proclaiming the Word of God through whatever I plan to go into is I plan on going to UMKC into music education and as life goes on I hope I can keep I can become a teacher and do other things I can kind of help spread the word like there, there's plenty of gospel music out there and plenty of different ways that I can go into specifically on um, becoming a choir teacher and seeing how I can influence other students and other people even through the church in the best way I can through music and what I do. One way I can proclaim the name of Jesus is to share my testimony with my, uh, my friends and my roommates and to invite them to church and invest in their life and also be a godly example for them as we go through the next step of our lives. One way that I can proclaim God to the people around me is to live by example, live the life that God wants me to, and I feel like he's led me to um, study music technology. And so with that, I can learn to make music and produce music, and through that, I can reach a lot of people. Well, I think that happen, it happens to be helping people with, when I have a job, just helps people tell them about God, like maybe tell them why I'd help them, you know? I would share my writings that I wrote about God. Probably my best advice for any student about to join the youth group is be ready to answer questions at any time because there are plenty of questions and to put it fairly bluntly, you, a lot of times there's no wrong answer. So always be willing to kind of answer questions and also be ready to just kind of go for anything that's out there. Like there's great people in the group so don't feel stressed or like forced into getting to know people. Like we're all, everyone's great there, everyone's willing to get to know you and become your friends so just be 
willing to kind of go out of your way and meet new people because that's kind of part of the reason that exists. So, My advice for new students going into the youth group is to not be afraid to be yourself because it's such a loving environment and it's a judge-free zone, so just put yourself out there and everyone's going to love you. My advice for new students entering the youth group is to relax, have fun with people because people here really want to get to know you, they want to be your friend, and then also a great opportunity for making friends with people that you might otherwise not is to go to church camp. You may get sunburned, be really tired, but it is worth it every single time. I say if you want to join the youth group, just go on and do it. I think that these people have millions of advice to give you when you're down. Just it helps to talk to them and learn more about God in a very special kind of way. I would just say to stay in the Word of God and stay close to God.